Welcome to this DMC video blog titled Feature Comparison of SharePoint Versions. My name is Rick Reitz and I'm Director of SharePoint Consulting Services at DMC. Today I'm going to provide a brief introduction to SharePoint and then I'm going to provide a breakdown of the key features included with the current versions of SharePoint. First we have Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 also known as WSS, Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007 also known as MOSS, SharePoint Foundation 2010, and SharePoint 2010. So what is SharePoint? Uh, really it comes down to it's a, it's a technology that makes it very easy to find, share, and manage content. A lot of people are surprised to learn that there's over 100 million users of SharePoint worldwide. And SharePoint is actually one of Microsoft's most successful products ever, having surpassed a billion dollars in sales faster than any product in their history. One of the reasons it's been so successful is that it's browser-based and it's so easy to use and share information. You might also be surprised to learn that Microsoft licensing for the basic versions of SharePoint is actually free. So let's take a little bit of a deeper look at MOSS and WSS. First we have collaboration features, most notably uh, team sites, and this allows groups of people within a department or across departments to collaborate together on a business activity. And included with this are a lot of project management features. Next we have business process and really that comes down to workflow and being able to automate different tasks and also manage tasks associated with the business activity. Next we have content management and document management is one of the most popular features uh, within SharePoint. It keeps a complete version history of any document that you upload to SharePoint and it also keeps an audit trail of who changed what and when they changed it. Next you have search and SharePoint will search every word and every document that you upload to SharePoint. But with the free version of SharePoint um, you can add something called Search Server Express and you can then also index all the documents on your network drive. That includes every word and every document. That capability is provided out of the box with the MOSS version of SharePoint. Next we have Web 2.0 and the key feature here is uh, wikis and those are great for documenting your best practices and standard operating procedures. Uh, it allows you to do so in easy to find, easy to navigate web pages and you don't have to know HTML in order to compose a wiki. Uh, basically uh, if you know how to use Microsoft Word you'll be able to create a web page uh, to provide a wiki capability. And lastly, we have business intelligence. And business intelligence is a great way in which you can track key performance indicators and create a dashboard so that you have a visual view of the health of your business. And DMC has actually enabled this capability with the WSS version of SharePoint. Uh, it does come out of the box, a limited uh, ability uh, to do KPIs and dashboarding. Um, the DMC solution, I think, uh, uh, is actually a, a little bit better than what you get with Moss. So let's dig a little bit deeper still and take a look at these different features across the different types of WSS and Moss versions. Uh, starting in the bottom right rectangle we have Windows SharePoint Services uh, and most of the features we just talked about are included here. Uh, search, document management including the version control and version history as well as wikis for best practices and standard operating procedures and many project management capabilities such as issue and task tracking. When you take a look at the standard version of MOSS, uh, one of the key features here, especially for a larger organization, is the content publishing capability. So anybody can contribute content, but you can force it to go through a workflow approval process. Uh, the standard edition also provides some additional look and feel capabilities, as well as a records management feature that allows you to expire content after a pre-specified uh, period of time. Next we have the enterprise version and the key additional features here center around business intelligence again being able to track key performance indicators and create dashboards. Um, as I mentioned earlier uh, you can do that with the WSS version uh, and DMC has a great solution uh, to help you do that. Uh, I actually have a different video blog called uh, automating uh, SharePoint dashboards is essential so if you're interested in that, take a look at that video blog. 
This is a typical collaboration team site, and you'll notice uh, definitely has a lot of project management capabilities to task, track tasks as well as issues. Um, also provides a way in which members of the team can contribute content and share documents. SharePoint 2010 uh, just came out, um, and one of the key improvements here is around user uh, experience. Uh, it's a lot easier uh, to edit content. Um, they've brought back or brought in the Office ribbon user interface that you see in Office 2007 and Office 2010. Uh, has some great integration capabilities with Office 2010. And they've also added a, a product called SharePoint Workspace. And essentially this works like Outlook does with Exchange, but in this case SharePoint Workspace works with SharePoint so that you can take content offline, make changes to it, and then synchronize it back to the SharePoint central server. SharePoint 2010 is a little bit more efficient. Um, you can collaborate on the go. Um, it's got a full fidelity user interface for mobile devices. Um, one thing that a lot of people will applaud is the cross-browser support in 2010. Um, you now uh, basically can use Safari as well as Firefox with SharePoint. Uh, they also improved the uh, relevance engine within the search engine of SharePoint. And uh, the new version of SharePoint is also a bit more scalable, uh, up to terabytes of data. Um, the records management capability has been expanded, so you now have a full document lifecycle capability, and multimedia is also supported a lot better, as well as Silverlight. Here's a screenshot of SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint Foundation. Um, you'll, you'll notice that uh, there's a ribbon bar at the top, uh, very much like Office 2007. So it's easier for users who aren't familiar with SharePoint to pick it up more quickly. Now, something very important with SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint Foundation uh, only runs on 64-bit servers. Um, so that includes the operating system, uh, has to be a 64-bit version, uh, as well as the database. Um, you're also limited in that you must have Windows Server 2008 R2, and it only runs on SQL Server 2005 and 2008. Again, 64-bit. License costs um, have not changed. So you have Windows SharePoint Services and SharePoint Foundation are both free. Uh, if you use it with SQL Server Express, your entire solution is free from a licensing perspective. Um, however, if you are a larger organization or you expect to grow, I would strongly recommend that you invest in purchasing SQL Server, uh, the standard edition. Um, larger organizations, you know, SharePoint does a ton of stuff, and uh, you might get a little bit of sticker shock looking at these prices, but really it is a fantastic value. So no matter which version of SharePoint you choose, uh, it's very important that you plan appropriately. You're going to want to meet with each department, make sure they understand SharePoint's capabilities, and then meet with each one and determine what they expect to do with SharePoint. From there, you develop a taxonomy, where essentially uh, the navigational structure in which you're going to organize your content so that people can find content very easily. And then once you've done that, you can start to add workflow capabilities, uh, perhaps add some dashboards to track the key performance indicators. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this was informative. And I would welcome uh, an opportunity to discuss SharePoint one-on-one -on -one with you. So if you do have any questions or if you want to figure out whether or not SharePoint's right for your organizations, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Thanks again.